Hi, it's bodge time. I've got myself an old school uh, IKEA light here. It's a V4904, I don't know, for those playing along at home. Um, and it uses uh, one of these old um, Osram uh, jobbies. 11 watt, I don't know uh, like the name of that, but they're like really hard to get. Anyway, um, yeah, old school uh, ballast type thing, made in Germany, look at that, upside down, so all the electrons are gonna fall out. Anyway, it's an old school um, yeah, fluoro uh, ballast uh, fitting, which um, I want to replace um, with a lead equivalent. Unfortunately, um, yeah, it's like we can't get anything in the same length to like cover like the holes and the and the paint on the walls and stuff like that. So what I've got is one of these weatherproof um, bunker lights. They're kind of like designed for outdoors, but um, made indoors. So like it says inside, but it's supposed to be a weatherproof bunker. So I, you know, I don't know. Anyway, um, it, it's a cheapish um, sort of like um, outdoor wall light. And yeah, it was oval shaped, was <laughs> oval shaped like this with, you know, one of those um, uh, covers on the uh, front, one of those diffuser covers and stuff like that. So I decided to uh, retrofit this. It was actually waterproof in the uh, back here. It, um, we've got the uh, terminals and um, and um, it's got the uh, weatherproof um, seals on the back and you know, so that's the cover that goes on the back of that weatherproof seal. So it's all hunky-dory. It's, um, yeah, the <laughs> design of this. Um, there you go. It's got an aluminium-backed uh, PCB and uh, some 450 volt caps in there. So we've got a full wave uh, bridge rectifier. And um, yeah, just some driving that directly. So it's not that great. Like it's so they're just using the aluminium as the uh, heatsink in there. But anyway, I thought that I'd retrofit this thing, and believe it or not, this hacked really well. So I cut the oval shape out of it. There's all the leftover bits, and uh, yeah, and I uh, just cut an end out of that. So this will actually sit over that very nicely got to be held in uh, place of course but it's basically it's just the right height for then the um diffuse glass cover to go over the top like that um that is going to be a winner winner chicken dinner i just got to uh extend um the terminal block back to the original terminal block over here and um i can have the original uh earthing point as well no worries so there you go that's not bad hack at all. I think this will work a treat. Catch you next time.